Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. We have a B-36 TC we're going to take on a quick uh, flight and also we're going to talk a little bit about the airplane market, general aviation in 2024. I did a video about a year ago on 2023. We're going to do one now for 2024 and kind of what I see coming up this year and uh, jump in and we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> All right, there's max power. Power looks good, airspeed's alive. How's it free? Four five Yankee contact Scott departure. Four five Yankee. Four four eight four Sierra Julia five miles from Jiffy cross Jiffy at two thousand cleared ILS approach runway two nine right. We'll cross Jiffy two thousand cleared for the ILS two nine right. Okay, four, let's turn the auto. Four five Yankee turn right heading one five zero. Right turn one five zero. We're on top now. Can cancel our uh, IFR and uh, southbound heading into Workhead. 45 Yankee, IFR can't set receivers in more navigation, maintain VFR, and what altitude do you want to work at? We'll go to uh, 4,500 for now, 45 Yankee. Okay, leveled off, uh, we got a VFR clearance, uh, or an IFR clearance to VFR on top out here. Checking out a couple things on this Bonanza. We've actually yeah, done a video on this uh, uh, on this Bonanza before. Which requested runway, soft current. Check that out. It's really nice. B thirty six TC. Nice upgrades. Really nice. Area ambient tow base is around. Really nice airplane. And what better airplane? I'm going to just start heading towards one. Talk about general aviation, honestly, than a banana. Yeah, is there two Yankee? Uh, you can proceed uh, requested. Let me know if you see a hole you want to dump it in. I've got a couple IFR. Each craft inter introduced the Bonanza in 1947. Let me know if you see some holes. And it's in. got the longest so do do continuous the production of any airplane in, in history. No, which is. Uh, five Yankee. How's the weather up by you? Uh, it's clearing a million on top, and the tops were eh, probably about three, 3,200 or so, but it, it varies depending on where you're at. It's getting thinner out here. Four five Yankee, is there any holes to dump it underneath? No, sir. It's pretty thick uh, and solid in my in everywhere I'm looking. Roger. In trouble. No, zero number zero number Yankee. I'm being told that uh, there's probably not much space uh, between you and Queen Mary to dump it. Bump it. Yeah, zero me Yankee. I agree with that from where I'm looking. I'm going to get a little closer and then let you know. Uh, chances are I might just divert and head out to Bermuda Dunes, but I'll let you know shortly. Sounds like somebody's stuck on top. Anyway, uh, not a better airplane to be talking about general aviation and then a bonanza because of the uh, the history of this airplane and the continuous production and they've just really kind of uh, one of the most popular general, general aviation airplanes, if not the most popular. Uh, in terms of an airplane that people aspire to. So uh, I did, as I mentioned in the intro, I did a video about general aviation in 2023. Uh, I did it in December of 2020. And, you know, I mean, it's it's a, it's opinions and projections, so I'm not saying I'm right. Uh, I, don't, the contact I don't have it all figured out, but you know, I'm just giving you my opinion, and you can take, take it to... Uh, as you uh, as you see fit, but uh, 2023 I think uh, worked out similar to what I thought. There were certain markets that changed more than I thought. I'm thinking of the Citation M2 in particular. I didn't 
really see the price drop as much as what happened at the time. But then it came back, and remember that those airplanes went up the most of anything. So it was probably, if anything was going to come down, it would have been those because they they increased so much so quickly. Uh, a similar airplane is a Mustang, where it we didn't see the major boost in price, and the result was we didn't see a major uh, negative in the price. Really, basically nothing on the Mustangs. So that was 2023. Uh, 2024, I, I believe we're going to see probably a flat, a more flat market. It's a a uh, election year, so my experience with election years is they kind of are all over the place. Uh, the over my overall picture of general aviation is really driven by lack of supply uh, and the continuous diminishing supply of general aviation airplanes uh, over the history of general aviation airplanes. After World War II, we got yeah, ge uh, general aviation increased yeah. up until the yeah, late 70s. Open up here. And then we had uh, so energy uh, crisis, to, uh, high interest rates. We lost some investment tax down. credits. Climate and so uh, it really took a drop off. And, and uh, it's never recovered, essentially. We had a little bit of recovery in the early or the mid 90s from the General Aviation Revitalization Act. But nowhere close to getting back to production was in the late 70s. And what we see now is manufacturers at least seem to be uh, a model of limited production and big backlogs over trying to the weather out there. Uh, same, four or five Yankee, clearing a million on top. I am looking down right now and seeing, you know, really thin clouds. I can see the ocean from here, but still uh, generally uh, pervasive uh, overcast layer. Roger, so nothing to get VFR all the way down to the, uh, the ocean? No, it's, there's probably a spot just to the uh, west of us right now that you could, but it's hard to say, you know, definitively. Roger. Or two two zero number for Yankee. Not sure if you were listening, but possibly about twenty five miles south. Um, there might be a hole you can get underneath. What I was saying is, uh, uh, the manufacturers in the current market uh, are limiting their production <laughs> in hopes of having backlogs versus trying to match production for a spike in demand. And by the time they get the production online, uh, that demand may dissipate, and then they're faced with having unsold airplanes seems to be the, the way the manufacturers are uh, are doing it and so uh, we don't have that many airplanes coming to the market so my view is moving forward in general aviation good clean uh, used airplanes and this this gets reinforced to me all the time because I'm selling them uh, good clean used low time airplanes with good pedigree damage history no damage history good logs you know good maintenance those airplanes are going to want to start a decent now my opinion those those prices are going to continue to go up um, then I just wouldn't do it uh, yeah, I agree with that. It's there, but God only knows in an hour if it will be. So I'm just going to. Yeah, it seems like he's having some problem. I'm good. Um, but I'm looking up there. I still don't think I'd tell him to come out to get under it. Okay, let's we'll show Matt five. So let's look at the market markets that we're in. I mean, we have an OCR, and, and what we do is a wide variety of airplanes. Five thousand Matt five five. And so, uh, uh, single-engine piston, high-end stuff like this, late model. Uh, there's certain markets, like if you look at the Cirrus SR22 market, right now there's a lot of inventory. So those prices are going to fluctuate based on demand, uh, supply in the market at any given time. They're producing a lot of them. And they're subject to uh, higher volume in the used market and lower prices, but I don't think they're going to drop significantly. But now would be a good time, in my opinion, to look at a deep model SR22. They just announced the G7. Uh, there's some G G6s on the market. There's a bunch of them, so those values four, might... 45 Yankee, contact approach 34, 35. 34, 35, Roger. Uh, so there might be some... Uh, good deals in that market. You look at Bonanzas, they've had low production for a long time. 4.5 Yankee uh, level at 4,500. We're going to do one orbit around the island and then back to Long Beach. Uh, overall, single engine piston airplane, good, clean, used, late model uh, airplanes with upgraded avionics are going to, are going to, in my opinion, 
continue to go up in price. Uh, Piston Twins, probably susceptible a little bit to a little bit more volatility, although we've sold some recent late model 421s, uh, good clean ones that are bringing good money and uh, they can be upgraded and really a very unique airplane in the market uh, that can be upgraded. And so for that reason, I think the late model 421s and uh, probably 414s and even 340s are going to do pretty well in the future. But there can be a big difference between good, clean, late model ones versus older ones that aren't in good shape. That market may suffer. Uh, getting into the light jets, Mustangs, we saw a lot of demand in Mustangs at the end of last year. Uh, the inventory's not not that much. It doesn't take many people to come in and buy a Mustang throughout the entire world, and that supply can shift, and suddenly there's not that many good airplanes. I think Mustangs are a really good buy uh, uh, for future value right now, too, and they're going to continue to go up. M2s uh, and 525s. Uh, M2s made it through that kind of high supply market. There's not that many on the market right now. I think those values are going to be strong uh, in the future as far as used airplanes. The manufacturers are sold out. So I'm, overall, I think 2024 is going to be a, a pretty flat year. I'm not looking for anything to need demand to really spike out of control like it did uh, right after COVID. But if you think you're going to buy a good, clean, used airplane in any of these markets I'm talking about, and you're waiting for prices to go down significantly, I would say that's not going to happen. Maybe in some isolated markets uh, where there's a lot of uh, supply building, I would point to the late model SR22 market as potential for that. Uh, anyway, uh, we see pretty strong demand in all the markets that we're uh, that we're uh, serve, that we're that we uh, we're basing it on real. I'm basing what I'm saying on real sales. Not speculating. I don't sell airplanes. I see people uh, and work with people all the time that are exchanging money for airplanes. So I think it gives me some credibility with what I'm saying based on what I'm seeing, not just you know speculating uh, with no basis. Uh, one, I thought while I'm out here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, a little tip. This airplane's a good one to do it in because I see this, and again, I'm I'm giving a a tip based on my experience flight instructing and flying with a lot of different pilots transitioning to different uh, to, to different airplanes. But what we're seeing right now in the market is we're seeing a lot of new avionics like are in this airplane. And they're matched with potentially an older autopilot like this KF. Uh, I believe this is a 150 matched with some pretty new Garmin stuff, which is, which is fine. But often what I see with people, uh, especially if they've been using a GFC 700 or 600, maybe, and you can get that in a you know in a flight training airplane, and uh, they apply the same expectation to uh, these older autopilots, and you you can't really do that. These older autopilots they have some limitations. So point one is to you know don't come into an older autopilot from a GFC. Five, six, or seven hundred, and expect the same level of performance. These are old autopilots, and you have to be patient, and you have to understand what limitations. Often, they don't have altitude pre-select. They're not going to do an altitude and level off for you. You have to hit a button. They may not have vertical speed, like this autopilot only has pitch control, and so you have to set a pitch attitude to descend. And uh, they might not have G uh, GPS steering. So that they don't, you know, capture a, a course as well as uh, some of the older autopilots. And the, the big thing is, you can't be in a hurry. You have to, in my opinion, you have to, you have to spend some time and let the autopilot uh, do what you've asked it to do, and give it a little bit of time before you start hitting buttons again and doing other things. There was a pretty high visibility accident recently, uh, and it was a gross. In my, I don't, I don't know all the details, but. What I've seen it was a, a, a grossly under uh, no knowledge, I guess, as a way of how the autopilot worked, and allowing yourself to fly it, uh, or you got to be careful of, of getting into a situation where you don't really know the limitations, you don't know how the autopilot works, and and you get up and put yourself in a situation where you're relying on the autopilot. Very dangerous situation, and that particular one ended really bad. Uh, crash and fatalities. So my advice is, if 
you're flying an older autopilot, really understand how the autopilot works. Get some instruction and time. Don't don't you know ask it to do something, and then if it doesn't do it immediately, start pushing buttons to to do it. Because then you then you compound the errors and and. Uh, cause more problems and the other thing is get some good flight instruction and a lot of these younger flight instructors are doing checkouts they may not know uh how to use the autopilot because they never seen it before and so there's nothing wrong with that i mean i i don't know i don't know how to use them all but i think i would say i don't know how to use it or i would try to train somebody or learn the autopilot while i'm training somebody four four five yankee runway two six five put on clear land two six left four five yankee are you going to turn south on again over Miss 37 Extra? I see where you're at. Uh, yeah, I'll turn south on uh, South 37. Miss 37 Extra, continue on the approach, and I'll call your turn south on. How's that for square? Your check again. So we get three green. Out on the go for now. Uh, speed looks yeah, good. I'll straight out of here. Lima, can I go to the bird see Quick recap on what I was thinking 2024 might look like for general aviation. Obviously, as I said, you know, it's my opinion. I'm not, not suggesting it's fact, it's opinion. Well, what happens uh just a few things in 2023 but i also feel like based on what i went back and watched and what i said kind of out of it i believe uh uh was was pretty accurate but if you have a better idea leave it in a comment and uh let us know what you think of the what the outlook for 2024 is going to be and as i mentioned uh it's an it's an election year so uh, election years are always interesting. I'd be curious to hear what uh, what you have to say. So leave us a comment. And thanks for watching.